Hi guys and welcome back to your old toys. Now today we are going to be reviewing, well, it's not vintage, but it is Star Wars related, a model, a model of the Imperial Star Destroyer. Now, Kenner, they did make a small, tiny Star Destroyer, maybe about this big in the micro machines, or I can't remember what that line was called, but it was a small Star Destroyer with the Tantive 4 that was removable. And that was it for Star Destroyers in the 80s. Well, unless you count the Darth Vader Star Destroyer, which unfortunately it wasn't a, it didn't really look like a Star Destroyer. So these days we have this Star Destroyer. Let's get into the review. So I am going to put down the panels for the lamp, for the landing gear I bumped the the light and sound effects button it's a very sensitive button and we will get to those light and sound features shortly so this is what it looks like with the landing gear all down it looks very good and and now there is assembly required on it. Let's look at the under belly of the ship. So you've got a few little compartments. And let's recreate that opening scene in Star Wars with the Star Destroyer fly over. Those lights are amazing. And if you want to create the flyover, you will definitely need them. Mm. Yes, those lights are one of the coolest parts of the ship. Oh, but wait, we got four gun turrets on each side. They all rotate somewhat. They don't really rotate that well, but they do rotate. As you can see there, this is a very cool Star Destroyer. And when you are putting it together, it's a snap together model. You do have to, it doesn't come looking like this. You get, it comes in a bunch of pieces and you probably put together a model. But if you need a Star Destroyer, a movie accurate one, I would recommend you get this one. If you wanted to maybe hang it on the ceiling in your collection room or just even display it, I would highly recommend picking this one up. Yes, there is assembly required, but that is basically fine if you want a good looking Star Destroyer. And let's do a couple more rounds of those electronics. So on camera, the centers of the lights look more white, but in real life, they're more blue, if you can see what I mean. And see these four, four here, those don't light up. So if you want to pick them up, and it won't run out of batteries. Well, it can, but there's where you replace the batteries. So here we go, more light. You can see on camera they look more white, but 
if we if we maybe turned my camera through my filming camera if we turned it over here and we moved the star destroyer further away maybe it would look a little bit different let's try that Okay, no, it doesn't look different. There's a good front view of the Star Destroyer. It does make sounds. And if you want a good looking Star Destroyer for your vintage Star Wars collection, well, it's not vintage, but if you want a movie accurate or realistic looking Star Destroyer, I would highly recommend picking that this one up and that is just about it for the video and stay tuned on the channel because i have tons more content coming in and oh that's not all we are approaching the holidays and the holidays my channel will be in full swing that's right my channel will be in full swing, a ton of content, m more vintage s toys reviews than ever that you have seen on the channel, and there will be a more to come. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. And here goes the Star Destroyer, jumping to light speed and moving out of the camera view.